Hi everybody, Neil Kravitz here. Hope you're enjoying these daily clinical pearls. It's Saturday morning at the office. We have a few patients coming in. I received a great question on one of my previous videos about how I manage space for missing lateral incisors. So I'd like to dedicate this pearl to that question. Now, whenever I have a chance to substitute the canine for the lateral and treat the patient without restorations, that's always my preference. I always believe in free and natural treatment and uh, canine substitution is a little bit of a subspecialty at this office. So I always try to do that, but some cases you need to prepare the patient for restoration or that is just simply the parent's preference. So what do I do to make sure I have equal space between both right and left laterals if both of those teeth are missing. Well, that's very tricky. I do the best I can with the braces and closed coil springs, and I'm often toward the end of treatment just inching my way to the finish line, trimming that closed coil spring just a little bit as I slowly close the space. I, I actually almost always create too much space and have to close that excess space during the end of treatment. But one of my favorite pearls that I like to do to really perfect the amount of space is to debond the braces and finish the patient with in-house aligners. I think with in-house aligners and the computer programming I use U-Lab in my office, I can make sure that that lateral incisor space is precise to the tenth of a millimeter. I can make sure it's symmetrical on the right and left sides. So my favorite thing that I like to do is actually get as close as I can with braces, debond, and then finish them with in-house aligners. I'll make pontics in those in-house aligners, but I'll measure the lateral incisor space precisely with the software. Uh, for retention, if they want a more fixed type of retainer. I will use that Maryland Bridge retainer. That's something that I've written articles on before. So I will use a fixed retainer made by AOA Labs. It is not a permanent retainer. There's no prep involved. We're just simply using lingual retainer pads and an acrylic tooth, and that seems to work out well, but I still do an overlay Essex. I hope you like this pearl. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for supporting the JCO.